Frankfurt Center for CUP 2024, CUP Fest. Tell us about the, the Commission's involvement in this event. Um, so the High Commission of Canada is very pleased to, to collaborate with the Student Center and um, it's really great to see these 31 universities, colleges here, our Canadian institutions. And uh, I'm, I'm fresh in this role as the Canadian High Commissioner, only one month in. But my understanding is we get a, a very good turnout like this every year. So it's a, a long-standing relationship with the Student Center. No, I said 31 universities and colleges. It, 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 from listening to some of the students, it appears that Canada is a preferred destination when it comes to higher education. Is this by choice or by design? I think um, that's a really good question. I think I think Canada is an attractive destination because uh, we have a diverse and inclusive um, country with people from all over the world, multicultural. So I think. Uh, we haven't designed it that way to attract students, but I do think that that's what does attract students part partially. Other attractions are um, cost of living, the credentials that they will have when they leave Canada, they're recognized internationally. We have really, really good institutions and research institutions, and so the options um, are really plentiful for students looking at different programs across Canada. So I think a little bit by design in that we want to attract high quality international students, but also just Canada being Canada is an attractive option for attraction students. Well, so we have, I mean, we have 31 institutions here, but we have uh, a lot more in Canada across the across the country. So depending what students are looking for, we would we would have a program. So it varies from some of the, the big name universities, University of Toronto, University of British Columbia, McGill University. I know you're interviewing, some of you are interviewing some here, like York University, McMaster. We've got uh, a large gamut of, of options. I'm from the, uh, I'm an alumni of the University of Manitoba. Uh, my brother's alumni from Seneca, which is just uh, over here. Um, we have everything from vocational training to um, graduate, PhD, depending what research you want to um, pursue, you can vary which college or university would be the right choice for you. So we have our High Commission staff who can guide and advise on which, which universities to go to. We have great information online at educanada.com. Um, so I would encourage everyone to look through that to get a sense of what our program offerings are. But really, I believe we have everything for every potential student. Um, my question is, um, most students obviously need the university um, of the Canada, obviously for the education aspect of it. Now, from an after-school perspective, what are the opportunities for students who may want to stay in Canada to be able to work, have a work um, life in Canada? Like so there are um, some provisions for students to do some part-time work. Um, it, there are, I don't know all the details of how many hours that is, but there is that provision. And then depending on the level of studies in the program, there can be opportunities for work permits afterwards. When you look at the relationship that the High Commission has had with Barbados and the Eastern Caribbean, this is but one of the many tenets that you have, or, or, or relationships that you've managed to forge. Is, or can we expect more of, I don't want to say the same, but more of opportunities like this, not only for the average adult citizen, but for students as well to continue? Do you mean in the sense of having fairs and opportunities? Fairs and opportunities to expand your horizons in Canada. Yes, so um, certainly we anticipate this fair continuing every year. Uh, we do promote education in the other countries in which I'm accredited, so in the, in the Eastern Caribbean. I'm, I'm only a month in, so I'm not sure what fairs take place in each uh, location, but uh, I do know that my team does reach out to prospective uh, students and agencies. So I, uh, I hope that others, if they're, they're going to watch or read this, will also consider coming to Canada from countries outside of our Thank you so much.